接下来我们要欢迎的是我们的 G J Kim， 先掌声给他。他带来的是 Project 这个 Project， 然后他们的 Developer 也有过来，所以等一下不管是技术上面还是他们的呃实质上面的问题都可以问。好，就那。大家好，我叫金锦珍，然后高兴见到你们。哦、oh, ，OK， that's it。今天看到说，呃 ，My name is Jude Kim， and I'm so happy to see everyone here。And I'm in charge of communication and marketing， and I'd like to talk about a little bit about us。And by the way， the all the Chinese I just Google translate it， so it won't be entirely accurate， but I hope it helps。Uh, just a little bit understanding about yeah uh, for you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, and at Bhakti we share uh, our knowledge to uh, with people uh, to create a more uh, a more democratic world. So we are doing this uh, like a making guide. For example, how to uh, how to open petitions and campaigns and uh, through our platform. Also, uh, some organization want to uh, have better democratic uh, communication. Then, how to do that? Um, uh, how to do that? So, we want people participating in uh, more social issues which uh, affects them, or uh, you are passionate about. So, we hope that this uh, really like fun, like a party, or like my uh, like our name. And everything we create, uh, including the uh, open source, the, the technical wise, and uh, our knowledge will be uh, open sourced. Ah, now it's already open sourced. And we are now based in Seoul, and but we working remotely in Korea and Japan. And we plan to expand to the UK, uh, UK next year. So if you guys have uh, anything uh, with us, then yeah, just don't hesitate to uh, contact me. <coughs> And yeah, so uh, we are mainly uh, uh, writers, engineers, and uh, planners. And this, they look so happy because uh, the, this workshop because just really uh, uh, just finished sooner than we expected. So and uh, so and we prefer this. <laughs> so is anyone interested in Korea? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. So yeah. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> So let me in, uh, talk about a little bit um, event about recent uh, Korean issues. Does anyone recognize uh, this guy? Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a member of BTS. Uh, BTS, a Korean, a uh, very uh, famous K-pop K-pop group, and they just made a remarkable speech on a self self loving campaign. Self-loving campaign uh, at the UN Assembly, and the uh, uh, the speech mainly about uh, the self-believing uh, instill uh, self-believing in young people. And another another recent issue is about just inter-Korean summit uh, just to finish really peacefully, and we started a really uh, good uh, dialogue between two uh, between two Koreas. And since it's going well with uh, US and. North Korea is a really like lovely mood uh, in between. <coughs> so this, before this uh, blossoming peace and love, um, things were actually going backwards and going a little bit against the democracy. Uh, Bhakti was founded at the end of 2015, uh, just before the scandal involving previous president Park Geun Hye. Uh, it was be, uh, was revealed. Uh, just it's a, a, a briefly introduction about the, the scandal. Uh, her acquaintances use uh, didn't have any official position in the government, but use her uh, uh, her position because uh, she's close to the pre, uh, president Park Geun Hye. So approach it to the several con conglomerates and uh, seek for some money uh, to uh, her own sake. Yeah, on sale. So, uh, and also, Park's presidential ratings are already de uh, declining anyway because of the lack of her uh, response to several very uh, sinking accidents. And the, the uh, accident was occurred on 16th of uh, April in 2014. So, in total, uh, because of her, 16 citizens were gathered uh, just onto the streets. 
uh, the street to join the protest to remove her uh, as president. It's a little bit similar, like I feel like a uh, paste for a Brazilian issue to, to Korea. And yeah, so at the time, even those uh, just uh, everyday people who don't have a big interest in uh, politics also just came out. And the protest was like a, a festival. Like there were concerts and really all creative, um, all creative uh, flags and uh, posters just uh, just hanging around. <coughs> and yeah, the uh, this guy in the main picture, uh, he's my husband from the uh, from the UK, and he said it, uh, he could hardly imagine this such a peaceful and entertaining protest in, uh, <laughs> in, in, the, in, the, in the UK and I accidentally met my uh, uni friends over there. <laughs> so in, yeah, in November, some of uh, the previous party member suggested to establish a project party. Like it's not an official, uh, official and traditional party, but they gather people together until their agenda resolved and then and then dismissed. So cost rating it doesn't have to be uh, a traditional way to restore democracy and seek for a new way of uh, new a way of engaging in politics. So uh, yeah, let me just introduce one of their uh, one of their activities. Uh, it's a mapping for some people who can who couldn't be in the main demonstrate demonstrate area in Seoul. So the photo were taken by people who want to show uh, they support they also support to the protest also. So it's taken almost every uh, every in the world, uh, Poland, Thailand, uh, some South America, the U.S. or something like that, and so for last couple of years. People, uh, it seems people have experienced that politic, uh, politics uh, could be accessible and it can be fun. Also, uh, digitally engagement also has its own meaning. So we learned two things. One, um, politi uh, politics couldn't be exclusive for traditional parties or career politician, uh, career politician. and second is um, uh, the technically the 21st century yes. is an era <coughs> of democracy, but if we don't if we don't use our democratic rights uh, just for enough, or just neglect uh, uh, neglect uh, to uh, give or undivided undivided attention to the executive or representative democracy, then we might take the list going backwards. So, uh, so the political leader has been changed successfully, and like uh, I introduced, all oh, inter-Korean summit also yeah, happened. Uh, uh, however, uh, people still have a question: Okay, the leader has been changed, but what about my life? <coughs> so, a uh, party want to have uh, people fill it out the answer. So I'd like to move on our main hashtags on our way of uh, democracy. So let me introduce Singh, and he's one of our uh, party members and also Zero Waste Gate. So just brief introduction is uh, Zero Waste is uh, mainly they don't want to uh, waste going to the, I got almost nothing going to the land. So basically in the bigger, uh, bigger scale, uh, they want uh, fewer materials to recycle in the first first place. So it's not just only uh, they not use any material, but they're changing fundament, uh, fundamentally. And I've known him since 20, 26, uh, 2017, and we were at a ca uh, cafe and just he all of a sudden took a picture, so maybe uh, selfie with the, I, I thought maybe selfie with uh, his coffee, but it wasn't. Uh, he took a, uh, took a photo of uh, the, the, the plastic straw he had, uh, he had to use. And plus, he started to observe 
how uh, how much he produces waste on a daily basis. So like he took a picture uh, after having snacks and. Uh, but he didn't do the by uh, by alone. Also, just met like-minded people at one of our platforms. Uh, his name is Patti X Y G, uh, for democratic communication for teams, especially. And they also had a challenge for no waste, no waste for seven days. So the picture they couldn't use any the plastic bags. So using the the fabric uh, bags for uh, shopping. Yeah, for shopping, and since their life become plastic free. And as Korea also aware of the plastic waste, I, I think Taiwan also other countries also uh, have had similar movements like this. So the community, including him, um, just didn't stop by changing their habits, and uh, they think about they need solidarity in order to uh, change the fundamental issue. So they started, started the research on how much uh, plastics you use, uh, usage in domestically. So just searched 28 major franchise coffee shops in, in Korea. And at the time when they started the research, it was so red hot in summer. So everyone just found iced coffee and takeouts, and as also I was the same. And the research found out that only 10% of a coffee shop just uh, asking their customers whether they are going to have uh, reusable cups, but only 10%. But imagine uh, beforehand, uh, if they ask about whether they are going to have uh, reusable cups, then how much plastic cups uh, would be saved? So their action were getting to uh, touch the fundamental issues, and they wanted to claim the all the coffee shops to reduce plastic usage. Mm -hmm. uh, but also, they want to more, um, engage more people who are also um, environmentally aware of that, about uh, but didn't know how to do that and while uh, they have to go to school and work. The engagement was quite amazing and ter terrific. Uh, they just wanted to uh, collect 1,000 people, and it just happened within, within, within a week. And yeah, this petition was going, uh, was going like this. So like, let's say I want to claim something to Starbucks, then I write, write about, to just do this, do this something something something. Then the message will be directly to the directly to Starbucks, and uh, maybe let's say maybe half of the one thousand people did. Then how many emails yeah, they they will get? So surprisingly, uh, Starbucks also gi uh, gave an answer. They are uh, not going to use the plastic uh, in in their shops. Also, they will uh, start uh, initiate um, the green, uh, green policy. So, furthermore, the my coworker uh, Sim uh, has his own interests, and also but he also able to lead any kind of workshop with Seoul, uh, Seoul government. So, we gather around sixty people uh, who are also interested in this issue and want to change some policy. Police make, uh, local police making, so okay, so uh, making so, but we didn't ask them to bring a perfect idea or plan in, in the uh, beforehand, but just to come and recognize, uh, just recognize you can come and talk uh, with other people who are also on the same page uh, like you guys, and they just came uh, and uh, talk maybe for a couple of hours. And then in that workshop, around 40 suggestions uh, were uh, were created, and then it's all digitally archived on our Democracy Seoul platform, and which we are uh, running with a partnership with our Seoul government. So, like other citizens who didn't attend this workshop, also can see. Also, if they like the idea, then they click the the, the like uh, like button. So in reverse, the government started to uh, uh, listen carefully about the, what citizens think. So in reverse, uh, the, the government 
best because what about uh, we government prohibit any type of disposal uh, straws at restaurants or coffee shops? So the the ninety percent is uh, the agree with uh, their idea. So yeah. So when he started, uh, when he started take a picture of the plastic, uh, of, okay, plastic straws, it basic, uh, he didn't seriously engage in policy making or something like that. But it naturally happened because he just keep doing it because uh, he find it's really fun, and also we are able to just uh, organize uh, this kind of uh, communication and resolving a conflict. Yeah. So uh, he is the uh, mayor of. So, so if uh, 5,000 uh, people agree on some issue, then he will give a public speech about like whether he gonna accept or he can't, he cannot make it. Or, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so let me show you the map again, and it's our idea ecosystem of how uh, our way of uh, better and more democratic world look look like. So one, uh, we so adapting uh, direct <coughs> democracy from our digital technology uh, ability, and two, just complementing um, the representative democracy by uh, the digital te technology. And in the end, we resolving conflict or just bring or draw uh, conversation uh, with, uh, between stakeholders or just anyone who wouldn't talk to each other. So uh, we think every part should uh, work its own and work, live, and just collaborate each other. So, okay. So we basically just do everything like communication to engagement and law making. Uh, and these are our four secret keys of the from from the toolkit. But and the use like the uh, use toolkit just suit for your best. But we also have four uh, four platforms, and uh, yeah, just I, I'd like to show a little bit. And all platforms are technical wise uh, open sourced, and also we can now uh, first ver version of our open know how will be released at the end of October. So just check it out, and uh, we gave you some uh, leaflets, so uh, you can just uh, keep uh, on post post it on us, and then just Google Translate it and use it because it's for free. Okay, thank you so much. Cheers.